I brought the idea to my fellow friends, Muslims and Christians. I said, should we make a co-op of uh, selling our coffee, but as well as spreading peace in the world? Say they were all so happy. So we called it Mirembe, means peace. Kaomera, which means that even our coffee must be of quality. Then we made that cooperative. Organization in. I bought this shirt with a meaning on it. On these dots, as you see them, these are the symbols of the coffee, coffee berries. Uh, and when you see these uh, gazette day things, they are symbols of unity. I'm a Muslim, and some signs who are here are for the Jews. Uh, aim what is what one thing that's the development because where there's war there's no development so we want to spread that gospel that we should, we should not let us not fight one another because of what religion we all what believe in what one god you find the christian muslim uh, jews we are together you find the Muganda, Mugisu, Munyankole, we also together. Our objective was the success. A great grandfather of mine, who is called Kabbalah David or Daudi, they embraced the Judaism. <laughs> of Thanksgiving company, one of it is that this is uh, the one of the organization in America which accepted to buy your coffee from Uganda because uh, most of the our coffee in Bali, oh, no one had been purchasing it, accepting it to go to US. It is the organization that supported us to join the fair trade. They also take time to tell about people, about how we are, about our programs of promoting peace in the world, and also 
to get as many customers to be making our this Mirembe Kao Merako. I see this religious tolerance, this interfaith co-op creating something that every coffee growing community hopes for and that is economic independence and, in, and from that comes empowerment and from that comes uh, children who are educated and from that comes doctors and lawyers and, um, and social workers and water experts and solar experts. It's been a really beautiful experience to see that that's a really a viable business model that the values and connections of a community can be recreated uh, by a business working in partnership with faith-based groups, with um, their organizations, um, and to create a network of communities that uh, linked through us is supporting the 570 farmers of Peace County. Ben Corey Moran wanted to tell me that he wanted us to organize a collaborative of congregations who would buy coffee, by the way, we drank it here this morning, so you know how good it is, that they buy from a cooperative in Uganda. And that cooperative consists of farmers who are, are you ready, Muslim, Christian, and believe it or not, Jewish. After I thought, this man is pulling my leg, I found out it was for real. They are Muslim, Christian, and Jewish, and they have gotten together to grow coffee, and it proved to me, and I hope it will prove to you, that not only is our interfaith work good for our souls and our egos, it's also good for the pocketbook.